Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're about to embark on an exciting journey with Voyager Linux 23.10. If you're a fan of Ubuntu-based distributions and always crave the latest features, you're in for a treat. I recently took Voyager 23.10 for a test drive, just as I do with every new Ubuntu release. And today, I'm here to give you the lowdown on all the new and noteworthy features. So, let's dive right in. Voyager Linux is no stranger to the Linux scene. It's known for its solid foundation on Ubuntu, with a touch of Debian charm. In the past, it stuck to Ubuntu's LTS cycle, but last year, it spread its wings to embrace short-term Ubuntu releases. This means you can now experience Voyager on the freshest Ubuntu flavors. And for Debian enthusiasts, there's a variant with the XFCE desktop environment, offering even more versatility for Linux lovers. Now, let's get under the hood. With the recent release of Ubuntu 23.10, the Voyager team wasted no time in crafting Voyager 23.10. One noticeable shift is the increase in ISO size compared to its predecessor. This is likely due to the package base inherited from Ubuntu. The installation process is smooth, but do be prepared for a slightly extended installation phase. Voyager 23.10 still uses the trusty Ubiquity installer, rather than the new Flutter-based Ubuntu installer. But fear not, you can still take advantage of Ubuntu's ZFS and LVM options during installation. Now, let's talk about the visual experience. The look and feel of Voyager 23.10 have been given a polished makeover. The GNOME desktop now features the elegant Cora icons and the Yaru Blue theme, complemented by various extensions. The introduction of the Activities menu breathes new life into the GNOME 45 desktop featured in this release. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll find the default dock with tasteful transparency, thanks to the Blur My Shell extension. A range of extensions, including Arc Menu, Blue My Shell, Caffeine, Clipboard History, and Ubuntu App Indicators, come pre-installed and configured to elevate your GNOME desktop experience. Here's a quick rundown of the key extensions that are installed and enabled by default. We've got Add to Desktop, Arc Menu, Blue My Shell, Caffeine, Clipboard History, and Ubuntu App Indicators. And if that's not enough, there are a few more extensions waiting for you to enable them for your needs in Voyager 23.10. Now, let's dive into the applications. Voyager Linux takes a unique path by not including Snap by default. Instead, it fully embraces Flatpak, leaving no trace of Snap in Voyager Linux 23.10. Even the Firefox web browser is packaged using native dev modules, bypassing the Snap version. The application lineup is extensive and meticulously organized. From the new GNOME text editor to files, Firefox, GIMP, and the LibreOffice suite, you'll have all your essentials covered. And for email, there's Thunderbird, with SMTube for video playback, and LibreWolf browser. But Voyager goes above and beyond. It provides PIDIV and Rhythmbox for video and music workflow. You'll find Maps, Calendar, the Foliate Reader app, KeyPass XC, and the BleachBit System Cleaner app for productivity and document management. While based on Ubuntu, it doesn't feature the new App Store introduced in Ubuntu's latest release. Instead, it retains the native GNOME software app.
All right, let's talk about Box Voyager. This nifty app brings its own unique flair, offering streamlined desktop customizations. It provides a list of configuration options, allowing you to launch settings directly. For those who love customization, Voyager Linux comes preloaded with a variety of conky themes, saving you the hassle of installing and configuring them yourself. Now, let's talk performance. Despite all the customizations and extensions, Voyager 23.10 impresses with its efficiency. It only consumes a mere 1.5 gigabytes of RAM at idle, with CPU usage hovering around 1%. Of course, as you install and open more apps, performance may naturally scale up. It uses a bit more RAM than the 23.04 release at idle, but the trade-off seems more than worthwhile. Just bear in mind, the installation footprint occupies approximately 14 gigabytes of disk space due to the abundance of pre-installed apps. So there you have it, Voyager Linux 23.10. A distribution that stands out as the ideal non-snap Ubuntu variant for daily use. If you're in search of a pre-configured distribution with a stable Ubuntu LTS or short-term base and a striking design, Voyager Linux is a strong contender. Its polished aesthetics, enhanced performance, and thoughtful selection of apps make it a compelling choice for Linux users. And don't forget, there's a Debian variant available if you're looking for that same sleek look with Debian stability. You can download this release and other variants from the link in the description below.